hi Scarlett. Say hi Tom. Tom's nervous. Look at that food. That's the sauce. Guys, I am really sorry about this, but California has some delicious food and I had to show you. So at the end of the video, if you guys get hungry, I apologize, but this pizza was fantastic. Oh, yeah, look, keep recording, keep recording. I got you, I got you. There we go. I wanted the girls to be here. I'm going to wait on this one. Keep recording it. Look at it. Oh, my God. Go, Shovel, go. Look at it. I want a picture with this. Yes, let me take a picture of you first. Thomas in the candy store. No, Tom, Tom. Look at all the candy. Want candy? Want candy? No. Kid crying in a candy store. We are here on Oldeo Drive. We got Louis Vuitton. The Hotel of the Pretty Woman was filled, filmed. Oh my God, one. Everything's like that. You got some beautiful palm trees. I'm gonna go take a picture over here. Alright, come on, let's go straight that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go in the hotel. We are going to the hotel where Pretty Woman was filmed. <laughs> now, shout out to you. We have to take a picture of that stuff. Uh, yeah. This is the hotel where Julia Roberts filled Pretty Woman. Oh my god.
enjoyed our time of vacation and it's now time to get back to our fish tank. I left the fish tank in care of my brother David. I gave him instructions how to feed the fish and guess what he did? He overfed the fish. Um, when I got back, I could not believe what the tank had. I know I did one of these videos before not knowing exactly what this substance is. I did find out that it is mold. Um, what we had to do was completely empty out the tank, remove the fish, uh, basically wash all of the rocks, uh, the gravel, and replace everything back inside of the tank and use we'll see what I'm talking about. I could never just stay with one scape with this tank um, due to constantly having to gravel back and I always forget where I had the rocks sitting. So we did aquascape it again. But as you guys could see, we did have the lights off on the tank for about seven days. The diatone completely left the tank so we have no more diatone in the tank uh, but my brother overfeeding the fish um, we grew mold which that's exactly what this is if this is new to you if this is the first time you're seeing this uh, just to let you know that it is mold I believe it does grow from overfeeding and having the food sitting in one spot it will mold up after a while um, but I was able just to gravel vacuum it out and also clean the substrate. But the fish are doing okay. You know, I'm very happy that my fish did survive all of that. There was no ammonia spike inside of the tank. I did check for that. Um, I guess, you know, the fish, you know, just dealt with it, those poor things. But here, after just two days, the tank is extremely cloudy. I might have to medicate it um, with some type of medication to clear up the cloudy water. Uh, I did also check my filter and clean uh, the filter, which I know I wasn't supposed to do, but I had no choice. Uh, but the fish are doing okay now. We have them inside of the tank and they're doing perfectly fine. I did have them in a small little saltwater tank for about two days while I ran the cycle. Um, but the tank is doing okay the fish are fine and the only thing that we have to worry about now is the cloudiness uh, but I think over time we should be okay if not I will add some medication to it uh, to help it uh, cycle a little easier but I hope you enjoyed the video please comment below and let me know what was your favorite part in the video uh, next week, we will be doing a, another um, video on the 65-gallon saltwater tank. And by then, we should have some more fish. So thank you very much for uh, watching the video. And see you next time on Joseph's Tropical Tanks.